Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Doc Luxury and I'm here with another video for you. This time I have another unboxing. previous video, I believe it was a men on bags video where we have a Q&A session. I did answer that, um, and I'll unbox this while I'm talking. One of the, or one of the things, yeah, I had a wish list of three items for the rest of the year, and this is one of them. And so I will show you what I got here. Just using my trusted blade, like always. And you will see once I open this box where I got it from. Okay, not that side. Or that side. Or that side. Okay, well, anyway, let me just go ahead and show you what's inside the box. And once you see some of this pink confetti sort of thing, you guys know probably where it's from. Here is the receipt and the envelope. But let me go ahead and put this down for a minute and take this out. You can see here is the package. And let me bring this box back up so I could use it as a little, <clears throat> little stage like I usually try to do. So here we go. Let me go ahead and take it out of the package. Oh. You can see it's a Chanel box, but can you guess what it is? Let me go ahead and unbox it with you here. It's a nice plastic bag. All right, so this is the first time I am seeing this in person, so I am excited myself. But first, let me go ahead and open this. Let me give you a little bit of a, a teaser. All right, so again, this is my receipt and this is what they send with it a thank you card as well as I guess this is um, their certificate of authenticity or whatnot but let me put this away and I will go ahead and continue with the unboxing lifting up the box and if you don't know where this item is from, I'm sure that is a dead giveaway. And here we go. Let me go ahead and open it up. Oh my goodness, I am excited because, yeah, always getting something pre-loved is, um, you know. And so this is pre-loved and yeah, let me go open it. You can see it is in a red color Let's see which side is the front okay so that is the front side i'll go ahead and unveil it for you you already guess what it is it is uh, <clears throat> so it is a chanel you can see here with the logo right there it's a chanel riviera single flap this is a larger version of the bag, just like my black one here. So now I have the black one, and now I have the red one. If you have recently saw um, another one of my videos where I review and unbox the smaller version of this bag, and I had purchased that for my mom, I am still gonna give that to her because now I have one of my own. I did want the the larger version and that's why I got this one and that's why I've been looking for it for quite a while. As far as the condition, it looks pretty good. I mean, I'll probably still bring it or send it over to the, um, the leather surgeons for this one as well just to have them recondition it and refurbish it because I was so happy with their um, with their job on the other bag that I totally recommend them 
And here are the fashion file tags. This one, if you do remove them, it is your bag, but I will leave that on for now because I do want to do a full inspection. I'm going to open it up and it is filled. Let me see what is in here. Okay. So it did come with the authenticity card, so that is a must whenever I am buying pre-loved. And here it is. I just want to make sure it matches with the number in here. And it does, and so I'm happy with that. And let me just do a quick little overview of this bag. I've done quite a few of these since I have, you know, another bag of this of this sort. And you can see inside it has a pocket in the front which it does not have in the back and it has one big old pocket in the in the or one pocket in here and there is a zipped up pocket in the back here it is a gray textile lining and you can see that it still has the the blue stickers here which you know is a is a good thing because there's not <clears throat> going to be as many scratches on on this side but they are taken off from from the front here which is fine but i do like that there are still the stickers in the front um like you saw already i have the black one and now i have the red one <clears throat> and i am so happy to have this especially in the condition that i have it in now the story with this bag um, is that I did um, find this on fashion file I did see it on there maybe a month and a half ago but I know this style bag is not as popular as the classic jumbo which these are actually um, pretty much the same size but um, yeah this one is just not as sought after and so I figured I'd wait to see if it went on sale and it did and so with Fashion File, it goes first on sale for 10% off, and then it goes on sale for 20% off, and finally it goes on sale for 30% off, and that is when I got it. Um, <clears throat> after 30% off, if it does not sell, I think that is when they um, move it over to eBay, and that's when they put it up for auction. But um, yeah, I thought this was a great deal at 30% off, and. I jumped on it when it finally went down there <clears throat> and yeah the condition is amazing I really think I mean there is a loose stitch as I can see right now but that was disclosed in the in the listing but I think I will go ahead and yeah that's probably enough to have the leather surgeons take care of it and make it you know come back to to new but i think that is the reason why you can see that there is a a loose stitch i don't know if you can see it very well there is that loose stitch there and it is connecting that um the cc flap logo there but i have seen a lot of um pictures from the leather surgeons and they have done a great job with reconditioning and refurbishing a lot of different bags and so that looks like it'll be an easy fix for them they just need to basically <clears throat> make it or reinforce that stitch and yeah it'll be good as new there's not much edge wear or anything like that and so yeah that is all i really wanted to say for this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them down below again give me the thumbs up if you want and not if you don't it's up to you but yeah i just wanted to share with you one of the three items that i said i said that was on my wish list for this for the rest of this year and um i have already gotten another one of them which was the the pochette voyage of the louis vuitton new canvas prints in the monogram eclipse and another one is um hopefully gonna be here soon and i will do another unboxing when that comes in but yeah just remember you guys to be you and stay confident take care you guys bye